Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got this really cute little party favour gift box and um, this is using some of the supplies from my March um, hobby base kit. So I've used the paper and these pom-poms which you haven't seen me use yet. We got sent loads, like we got this here, I've, put it, I've squashed it all into here but this we got loads and loads of it. So um, yeah, I, <laughs> so I got really excited, that was probably the one thing I was most excited about, yeah I haven't used it yet. So here we have this gorgeous, very very cute little box and inside it fits two just the two little Valkyrie dots, but it's got two of these, if anybody has tried these, they are amazing, um, of these Godiva um, chocolates, and these ones have got caramel in them, and the box is this here. This was £4, and there was about 24 in there. So if you are wanting to make favours, that £4 can go a long way if you're using two of these in something like this. So, um, yeah, I thought it was just a lovely little way just to give a nice little like I said, token gift to someone. So, like I said, they fit perfectly inside there. It's a three inch by one and a half inch, and then they just go down and just Velcro together. Obviously, if you don't have the polka dots, you could um, hole punch two holes in there and put ribbon. Um, so that's one way to do it as well, or magnet as well. So, but like I said, this is using some of the supplies from my kit, so let's crack on and make it. So I'm using the same pattern paper again, so I wanna get as much out of that as possible. I've got my chocolates already got my pom-pom. You'll need your hot glue, so I've got mine on already. Um, the little sentiment here I just stamped is just one from my own stash um, that I've got there. Don't need that. Okay, so Velcro dots. So for the actual box, it's reinforced. You don't have to have it reinforced. Um, if you just want to do it single-sided, um, then you could just have it as a piece of five by um, three and a half. Okay, is that right? Three and a half? Yeah, three and a half. But this is reinforced because I just love reinforced boxes. So this is seven by five and a half. Let's check that's right. Yep. So first of all, scoring along the seven inch side, you want to score at one inch, two inch, five inch, and six. And then rotate it onto the shorter side, and you're going to score at one, two, three and a half and four and a half, okay? And you will have this grid of squares, like so. Then I've got this purple piece here, and this is for the case that goes around. And this is three and a quarter by seven. And along the seven inch side, you want to score at one, one and three quarters, two and three quarters, four and a quarter, five and a quarter and six. Okay, and then what I've also done on this piece, if I've got it, yep, it's here, um, is I just, again, rounded off the corners, because I just love to do that, um, like so. Okay, then I've got all these bits here to decorate, so you will need two pieces that are seven eighths of an inch by three and one eighth of an inch. And then these pieces, you will actually be better off doing yours slightly um, thicker, just this was the last bit of the paper I was using. So they're actually, uh, what's that, five eighths of an inch in width, okay? Mine is slightly shorter, um, and again by um, one, um, sorry, three and one eighth of an inch, okay? As always, all those measurements will be in my blog. So, got all of that, don't need my scoreboard anymore, so let's put that one away as well. Um, so first of all, just burnish all of your score lines, so just do my little case. And these are very easy to make as well, so perfect for all abilities. And if you do want to make like a batch of them, you can get all the family involved, get one person doing a bit of each, you know, part of it and stuff. So nice fun boxes to make. Okay, so that's everything burnished. And then this one here we'll do first. This is just, again, a normal reinforced box. So along the shortish side here, you've got four squares. I'll just show it there, there we go, these four squares here. You're gonna cut down both of those, like so, and like so, okay. And then rotate on this side here, and you wanna cut that one completely out and remove that one. 
and then I'm just going to take a little bit off of that one. I'm going to take a chunk out of each of these so that forms the tab and then I'm just going to take a little slither off of that one because these are the bits that are going to be folding inside. Okay, then fold down, um, sorry, cut down the next two like so. Okay, just as we did and rotate, cut that whole piece out, cut that one out. And again, take some big wedges off of that one. Take a little bit off of this one and a little bit off of that one. Okay, so that's what you should have. Then you want to rotate and flip the whole thing around and again, cut down the two with the four squares. Again, take that whole one out and that one. Just repeat what I have did on this side here. Okay, so that's now the shape you should have, so you can see where they all fold, these two fold, and those ones there as well. Okay, so now we can just get this all stuck down, so I've just got my wet glue here, and you basically just want to put glue on the um, tops of these four tabs here. Do two at a time, so I'm going to do this side first, just make sure I get this glue out. Okay, so just a thin amount, just make sure that you get it right up to the school line like so, okay keep that that way so it stays there and then fold that one up like so and make sure you can kind of get the glue coming right to the edge there and then you know you've got a nice join on the corner and then fold that one down and again bring up the side there like so, okay and then put glue Again, on these two, like so, and fold that one in, and do that one at the same time as well, so they're both inside, oh, that one's popped out, there we go, again just make sure that they all form a nice corner. Okay, so now if you didn't have, if you had the smaller size that I gave you to, to make this non-reinforced, that will be your box formed because you wouldn't have this bit here. But to make it reinforced, these pieces now just fold in on themselves. This is quite a snug, oh, quite a snug box, so you don't, um, you can actually get away with not even gl putting glue on these two sides. You can fold them in and then by folding in the other sides, um, they hold it all together, but I'm just going to kind of tack it down and putting hard there's not a lot of glue in here at all. So just on those all of these pieces here you can see where I've put the glue and then just fold them all in like so. As you can see they push this back. Pop it all in and then just lie on its side and just go round with your bone tool. Just spread out that glue and it just gives you a nice um, crisp edge to your little box there, or tray, like so, okay, so that's what you have, so now that's all nicely reinforced. So now this is going to sit inside our case, so like that, okay, so I'm going to put glue on the bottom here, all the way along, and then I'm going to put it on the two sides like so, do it all at the same time and then sit it down inside and it will, you need to make sure you've got equal sides on the here, on the left and the right hand side because it's um, going to have a little bit overhanging which is nice. Okay, just get your ruler and just spread that out. Okay, if that doesn't leave a mark actually. And then you just want to bring up both sides. Flip it on its side there. And just spread and then that just out. flip over the other side and just fold that down. And again, use your bone tool. Like so. Okay? 
And then when that folds down like that, the two sides will come up, giving you this. So very, very cute. So now you just need to stick all of your pieces down. So the larger bits are for, I'm just gonna, I did use double-sided tape before, but because my glue's out here, I'm just gonna put a very thin amount, just making sure really it's on the edges. And each one of these will give you a nice little border, in this case a purple border. I've got a little bit that's just not been, it's obviously a bit frayed from where I cut it, there we go. Okay, and then these thinner ones will go in there. So I'm just going to go around and get them all stuck okay. down. So they're all now sat, um, sat down, stuck down. Um, yours will not have as much of, see I've got quite a lot of purple showing there. Yours will come down further like the yellow one here. Okay, but like I said, I wanted to use all of that paper. Um, so I'm not going to waste anything. So now we can stick the pom-poms down. So to stop these fraying, what I did, so let me get to the end piece here. So it was four hanging down. See that one's a bit dud there. Let me just snip that piece off because that's I'll save them. Oh, the scissors aren't going to be good for fabric. Let's start again. Right, let's start over here. Okay, so I want four of them. So there's four. And then I had about where it kind of, like, it's got that swirly kind of pattern. I had about four and then cut it off. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. And what I did first is kind of seal it with the hot glue, let that cool. I need two of these actually, but I'll show you the first one. And then I went and put the glue back on it again to stick it down. So what I'm doing first of all is just you could also pop a little lighter on the end of this as well, so that would work. But I'm just putting a little bit of glue just to kind of keep it in place. There's such a tiny amount on, it's not hurt, it's not burning me or anything. It's just to kind of flatten it into the fabric, like so. Just snip that little bit off the top there. There we go. So it's just sealed that end now. I'll just do that on the other one. And then that's all I used was to stick it down was just the two ends. I didn't run glue all the way along because I just didn't want it getting a bit messy. And sometimes with the hot glue, I didn't want you to be able to see it or anything like that. So that's why I've used such a small amount. Um, you know, there are any little favours. You don't need to be heavy with it. So now those ends are prepped, okay, and they're not going to fray any further. So now I can just put some more hot glue on Again, just enough to stick it down. There's very little going on. And it goes right up to the very end, the top piece. Sits nicely. Let me just do this other end. And this is slightly stretchy as well, this particular um, ribbon. So I pulled it along a little bit just to get it right up to the edge there and I just think that just finishes it off and just gives it such a nice little party feel I mean who doesn't like pom-poms look at that it's just so cute you could put another little dot of it there if you want to but like I said I don't think you really need to so now I'm just going to repeat that again on okay. the other side both the sides done now and like I said, I just think that finishes it off so nicely. Um, just got the little sentiment here. I just want birthday. I don't want happy. Obviously, that's entirely up to you. But I just quite liked birthday on it because these are favours to give to someone at the birthday party. Um, obviously, if you do want to put something else in it, it easily fits some jewellery and things like that in. Um, I'm going to put some foam on that. Before I do that, let's just pop on our Velcro. Um, dots, so I've got two here, I just need to cut them down the other one, oh. like so. Bring this one down first to make sure it's in the half, you know, halfway part, um, it's completely flat there and halfway along. Put the other one down and then bring them up, making sure they all line up nicely. Put your finger and thumb there and you'll be able to feel that the curved pieces all match up. And like then just so. a little piece of foam, grab my little sentiment, like so, 
Um, again, choose if you've got a preference to front or back. I'm not too worried. I'm going to just pop it on here just so I can make sure I get it nicely lined up, like so. And there you have it. So let's just pop these chocolates inside. So it just opens up. Like I said, you might have a magnet or something else on there. And then these two fit in perfectly, like so. And there you have it. Two very cute little birthday favour treat boxes. Like I said, I absolutely love them. So there you go. So it's another nice um, thing to make with some of the supplies from the monthly kit. As always, if you're interested to find out more about the kit, um, I'll share all the links to the Hobby Base um, uh, website below. And um, otherwise, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.